Hey, welcome back. Review a day, episode number 208. My name is Leland, and thank you guys so much for joining me. Happy Friday, everyone. Friday means one thing. New episode of DamperCast is out right now. DamperCast, episode number 57. Head over to DamperCast.com. Check it out. You'll find links to iTunes where you can subscribe to the show. Uh, please, I thank you in advance. And Nitpick It, episode number 70, came out on Thursday. We talk about the Karate Kid A-Team. So please head over to nitpickit.com as well and check out the podcasts. I do, I work real hard on them. I appreciate it if you would check them out. Thank you in advance. Guys, huge movie release today. It is Toy Story 3, which is uh, directed by Lee Unkrich, who was co-director on Toy Story 2 and on Finding Nemo and Monsters, Inc. as, as well. You guys know Toy Story. I think I was like in the second grade when the first Toy Story came out. Here we're meeting back with Buzz and Woody and all of your favorite toys, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. And this time Andy is going away to college and he's boxing up all his toys. He's gonna take Woody with him to college and he's gonna put the rest of the toys up in the attic. But he leaves the bag in the middle of the floor and as moms do, she picks it up and she accidentally donates it without him knowing. Woody takes it upon himself to save the day and save his friends uh, from this, this daycare center. You know, we, we really have been spoiled by Pixar over the last, you know, number of years. Just, I mean, they, they, I don't know of another studio or another entity that has really created as many classics as, as Pixar has done because every film it seems Pixar has put out over the last 10 years practically, Every single film has been a classic in some regard. Really, the lesser Pixar movies are Cars and, and some other things like that. But even lesser Pixar is just about better than anything you'll see. And I was really interested to see how they were going to handle the final act in a trilogy, especially the Toy Story trilogy, which the first two films are so absolutely great and so, I would almost say, perfect that I was really interested to see what they were going to do. And I think Toy Story 3 is... it's it's awesome. It is such a great and a kind of joyous and nostalgic experience for me with these characters who I really have, I feel like I've grown up with Toy Story as long as I can remember. It's almost always been a part of my life and just to hang out and spend time with all of these characters again I think was so exciting and such a joy to watch. The opening of this movie is you basically get to see Andy play with his toys from his perspective. The entire opening is this big budget action movie style intro where there's a train heist going on, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are trying to rob it, and Woody's jumping on top, and you have Buzz Lightyear picking up an entire train. It is so funny and interesting, and Pixar knows how to make movies. It, Pixar is a testament to really the power of film. That the, the best parts of any Pixar movie, and I would say the best parts of Toy Story, are the moments when there's no characters talking. It's just so incredible to see these, these toys, these tiny little, you know, eight-inch creatures traverse the world around them. And just to see the ending of this movie, which is kind of, an, like, kind of like The Great Escape or almost like a heist film where you see them try to break out of this really... It, I, 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 like a, a daycare center with hundreds of cameras and they have guards everywhere and you see them try to escape. It is such a blast to watch that. And it was interesting because this Toy Story film, it feels almost like a giant big budget action movie version of Toy Story. It doesn't have the small scale connections between the characters. And I think what I ultimately was a little disappointed by this movie was just, I didn't feel like this movie had nearly as much heart as the first two, and I don't necessarily think this is necessary, this, this chapter. It's a really great chapter, and the final five, ten minutes of this movie are very emotional and really some of the sweetest moments in all of the Toy Story films, but by the end of this movie, it feels more like Star Wars, or, uh, you know, I felt like Woody was Moses, and he was taking his flock trying to find God through the desert. And it's, it's all interesting and it's all great. And I just think that Pixar puts so much love and care into every single one of their films. You just look at the cast of this movie. You have Kristen Shaw from Flight of the Concords, Mel, who is just so funny and has a really small part as a stegosaurus. You also just, you, you, you get a level of care and love into these movies that I don't think you get really anywhere else. And while I don't think this is the best Pixar 
uh, film to date. I don't think this is the best Toy Story film in the franchise. I do absolutely recommend it to anyone who is at all interested. This movie is, it is such a treat to watch. I give Toy Story 3 a 4 out of 5. This movie is, it, it really is a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. If you guys like this review, make sure to head over to nitpicket.com or dampercast.com and check out the podcasts I do. I'll catch you guys next time.